Hello, I'm Didier Stevens, and in this video, I'm going to show you the analysis of a malicious Word document with the VBA macros. So with OLED dump, we can have a look at the document, and here you can see stream 7 and 8 contains macros. This one rather a lot, eh? and uh, stream 8 is much smaller. So let's take a look first at uh, stream 8. So I select stream 8 and I decompress this. And then here you can see a subroutine document open. So this will execute when the document is opened and uh, when the user uh, enables execution. And then you have an application run here with a lot of variables that are concatenated. So the command here uh, is concatenated from different strings, uh, probably strings variables. And those are probably defined here in the other uh, stream, stream 7. So let's take a look. Since it's large, we are going to pipe this through less, and so stream 7, like this here, and indeed you can see a lot of variables, and also several strings. Yeah? And if you take a close look, here you have an empty string, here the next string is P-O-W-E-R-S-H-E-L-L, -L, and so on. So this reads as PowerShell. So the command here is probably inside uh, strings. Mm. So we are going to uh, extract extract those individual strings. And we can do that with re search and say that we are searching for strings. Eh? Ex regular expression str. Okay, so now this is not what we want. Mm. What's happening here is that that regular expression that we use, str, that works for strings that are not empty, eh? but there are also empty strings in here. So we need to use another one, and that is string E. Eh? This also will identify empty strings like this. Okay, so and here we can see numbers. A lot of numbers. So this is probably a PowerShell that has the payload encoded as numbers. And in here, here, you can see PowerShell, yeah. And then here, environment, com, spec, and so on, yeah. So this is clearly a PowerShell script. So we want to concatenate those uh, strings here. And also, we need to get rid of the double quotes here. Also, this empty string here. So we use another regular expression, str eu, and the U star stands for unquoted, that to remove uh, the quotes. Like this. And then we are going to join this together with my sets command, who operates on, uh, on sets of uh, elements. And here we are going to join all the elements, all the strings, and the separator is an empty string. Like this. And then here you can indeed see a PowerShell com spec join string join here all those uh, numbers uh, to join and then to uh, to execute i have a tool to uh, analyze uh, numbers like this and it's called numbers to string so we pipe this into numbers to string and then it will look up all the individual numbers and com uh, if we don't specify any argument, it will just convert them to their ASCII uh, representation. So let's see what this gives. Yeah, and indeed here we have decoded here uh, a PowerShell command, and we can see here the different uh, URLs from where an executable will be downloaded and saved and then executed here. 